به مردم شریف ایران من شهریار افشار هستم میزبان شما در برنامه پالیتیکس 365 امروز یه مهمان خیلی برجسته و فعال سیاسی در کشور انگلیس به توجه شما میرسونیم آقای هنری سمیت یکی از اعضای مجلس پارلمنت پارلمنت مجلس انگلیس 650 نفر عضو داره هر پنج سال انتخابات دارن و ایشون از سال 2010 اونجا عضو مجلس پارلمنته تازگی ها مجلس انگلیس یه چند تا گزارش تهیه کردن در مورد حقوق بشر و موضوعی که در ایران اتفاق افتاده با کمک خیلی از ایرانی های موقع انگلیس که فعال بودن و با نماینده تماس گرفتن و ما میخواستیم این آوانس رو داشته باشیم با یکی از اعضای این پارلمنت که در این گزارش ها شرکت کرد و چند تا ریپورت تهیه کردن و گزارش دارن به مجلس انگلیس در مورد موضوع حقوق بشر آقای هنری سمیث خوش آمدین به برنامه ما هنری سمیث ممبر پارلمنت ویلکم تو آر پروگرام پلیز تل اس ا لیتل بیت ابات یور سلف اند یور رول این پارلمنت اند ویل گو فرام دیر Well, my name is Henry Smith, and uh, thank you for having me on uh, your show today. I am a United Kingdom Member of Parliament. Uh, I was first elected in 2010. Uh, and since uh, the year 2020, I have been a member of the UK Parliament Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, so principally, that has been my involvement in terms of Uh, Iran, although I've had an interest in uh, Iranian issues uh, for some period of time uh, because of local communities that I uh, represent uh, and also concerns about some of the human rights ab- abuses that have been going on uh, for many years in Iran. Thank you. I think that I was in 2010, I was in the Parliament of the Parliament and I was very proud of the Iranians who were در منطقه ایشون زندگی میکنن اون ایرانی ها با ایشون تماس گرفتن و تمام موضوعایی که ما هممون نگرانشیم و ازش رنج میبریم به توجه ایشون رسوندن و خودشون هم شخصا عضو کمیته روابط خارجی انگلیس هستن پس همیشه هم شخصا و نظر کاری یه علاقه به ایران داشتن و تا اونجایی که میتونن در این زمینه فعالیت میکنن و خبرای به توجه ما الان میرسونن Thank you, Henry. Uh, so I understand recently the the parliament conducted uh, an Iran inquiry. Uh, what is that about? How did that come about? And what were the contents and the results of that inquiry? And let me just quickly translate. As you should see, I'm ke tazigia yek gozarash jadidi majlis English taye karde chejurin gozarash taye shode hadafesh chubude va natija shubude. Thank you, Henry. Go ahead. Well, obviously, Iran is a key country when it comes to uh, global security, not just for the United States uh, and the United Kingdom, but also uh, the uh, Gulf region uh, as well, uh, and indeed uh, further afield uh, than that. Um, it's been, or the I should say the regime in Tehran has been um, a source of concern, of course, for many, many years, but uh, recent Um, uh, unrest, uh, recent clamping down against the civilian population, uh, particularly I think women uh, in Iran uh, has been a significant uh, concern uh, and why the Foreign Affairs Committee has uh, decided to take a much closer detailed look at Iranian issues. There are also other aspects such as the uh, nuclear uh, deal and uh, in addition to that, um, Uh, Iranian um, supply drones, for example, to Russia in the U- Ukraine war. So uh, there's a lot at the moment for us to look at. Thank you. I should find that the issues of drones that Iran to Russia are being sold, and the issues of atomic weapons that are always at the attention of the English government and the world. این سرکوبی تازه‌ای که ایران داره اجرا میکنه بر علیه مردم ایران قابل توجه ایشون قرار گرفته و خیلی موضوعی که ایشون و اون کمیته روابط خارجی انگلیس درش داره جستجو میکنه so what i mean what were apart from just analyzing uh, the, uh, the the recent Uh, human rights violations and uh, attacks against women, poisoning, I think you mentioned earlier. Uh, I mean, what can the committee hope to achieve 
by looking into this. And, and let me just, هدف uh, این کمیته چیه و واقعا هدف چی کار میتونن بکنن در جواب به این خطاهایی که ایران بر علیه مردم ایران داره اجرا میکنه. Thank you, go ahead. Well, the main um, purpose of the Foreign Affairs Committee is to really scrutinize what British government policy is across a, a range of uh, foreign policy issues. Um, and I think the general stance of the committee, although it will vary uh, dependent on members, but certainly my stance, uh, and I think ma the majority of view of the committee is that we feel the British government should be a lot more robust uh, in terms of its response to the Iranian regime. So, for example, uh, prescribing the IRGC, um, pulling out of the nuclear um, agreement, um, and uh, even uh, questioning the current diplomatic uh, links that exist between Tehran uh, and London, um, activities, for example, of where the uh, Iranian embassy uh, in London is being used to uh, further the regime's nefarious activities in the UK. Thank you, thank you. Uh, issue for one, I think it's a conservative party or a conservative party مجلس انگلیس کارشون اینه که از دولت انگلیس بخوان چرا سپاه هنوز روی لیست تروریزم این کشور نرفته چرا حتی سفارت ایران در انگلیس که برای هزار نوع کار زد مردم ایران داره فعالیت میکنه هنوز به اصطلاح روابط دیپلماتیک ایران با انگلیس داره و اون سفارت داره استفاده میشه از نظر یه پایگاهی که بر علیه مردم ایران فعالیت میکنن و این سرکوبی ملت که اینا انگلیس ها شاهدش هستن چرا دولت انگلیس بیشتر یه جواب محکم تری و قوی تری بر علیه ایران اجرا نمیکنه thank you so uh, recently i understand uh, the crown prince uh, former crown prince of iran reza pahlavi visited uh, london uh, he met with various political leaders um, what is your assessment of that, the value of that visit? What, if you met him, what is your assessment of the man? Uh, you know, what, what do you think um, that type of visit does for, um, for the future of uh, maybe a, a free Iran? So I would say that Shah Reza Pahlavi has been to English, but he has been to the United States. I ask him that his opinion is from the Thank you. Well, I think it's very important uh, to raise awareness. I had the uh, honor and opportunity to meet him um, fairly briefly uh, several uh, months ago, uh, but it really is a case, I think, of uh, raising an alternative narrative uh, from Iranians. Um, it's a big mistake, I think, uh, that people... Um, Put together the Iranian people with the Iranian, uh, the current Iranian uh, regime. I think, in many respects, uh, that is uh, very different, and it's important to hear alternative Iranian voices who want to see um, a society that is much more outward-looking. Um, there's a great, um, there's a great shame that uh, Iran. Um, could have such a positive role to play in uh, the wider region uh, and the world globally has a lot to offer uh, the world. Um, and so hearing alternative Iranian voices that offer that different, uh, I would argue, uh, more constructive, brighter future, both for Iran and for the world, is, I think, very important. Thank you. Uh, I think that uh, Shah Pahlavi Uh, یک س... عملا صدای مردم ایران و uh, نظر یک کشور خارجی برای انگلیس مهمه که بدونن که uh, ایرانیا دولت ایران نیستن و ایرانیا uh, یک uh, روابط سازنده میخوان با انگلیس و تا اونجایی که انگلیس و کشور اروپا ببینن که ایرانیا Uh, مخصوصا با توجه با شاهزاد رضا پهلوی و فعالیت که ایشون میکنن uh, یک آلترنتیو uh, و یک آپشن های دیگه دارن uh, برای آینده سازنده با ایران و uh, تا اونجایی که این روابط و این ملاقات ها اجرا میشه 
سیاست مداره اروپا میتونن ببینن که ایرانیا در یه جهتی میخوان برن که سازنده است در دنیا و واقعا نقش مهمتری میتونن بازی کنن uh, Thank you uh, Henry um, I think we've covered you know, all the basics uh, Is there any parting words we don't have to take more of your time We just want to really uh, understand what the future will hold with Iranian uh, British relations and uh, your continued work to push for a robust uh, response I'll, I'll translate. Think... Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot to translate. نظر ایشون در آتیه روابط چیه و تا اونجا که ایشون دارن کوشش میکنن که دولت انگلیس یه جواب محکمتری به ایران بده و یه نقش مهمتری بازی کنه نظر ایشون در این آتیه چیه؟ Thank you, Henry. Go ahead. I think the key point is to repeat that the Iranian people are different from the Iranian regime uh, currently in uh, Tehran and that actually there is a, a much uh, better future, I think, for Iran um, and the world um, going forward. And I think now uh, we have reached a stage where we are seeing more than just protests, but we are seeing Uh, perhaps the beginning of regime uh, change uh, in Tehran. And I think there's a huge opportunity. There's a lot of danger in that, but I think there's a huge opportunity there uh, to see Iran flourish uh, and the Iranian people uh, really be able to realize their destiny and not be held back in the way that they have been for so many decades. Thank you. I think that Iran has a future in the future. Uh, این انقلابی که الان داره اجرا میشه با, uh, با uh, که مردم ایران این جنبش رو قبول کردن و این uh, uh, فعالیت ها رو اجرا میکنن واقعا uh, امیدواره که نتیجه گیر بشه و حتی رژیم عوض بشه و یه رژیمی بیاد در کار که با دنیا بتونه روابط بهتری داشته باشه uh, Member of Parliament, Henry Smith Thank you so much for your time We really appreciate all of your efforts We appreciate your openness to dialogue with the British Iranian community, your constituents, our brethren over there, uh, you know, uh, active. Uh, we're so proud of them uh, for uh, being a voice uh, for the Iranian people. And we wish you great success and them great success. Man, the Arizwe Mu'afaqiyat Ishun and the Iranian Mu'gib Inglis, that this political and political development will continue until Iran is free. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Henry Smith. I hope you come back soon. Thank you very much for having me on. Have a good day.